All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to be doing some more Chaos Mode PvP because I've been having so much fun with this game mode. So we're going to be taking this team, the tier team. I did get Tears Hawk Pass because it is a Tuesday. It just released and it also gave me his fifth weapon, which is amazing. So now Tear has his full cosmetic set. Uh, we are going to run backline Ram just to give us like the extra 20% basic stat increase. And of course, we do have Freya and Merlin here. Unfortunately, we cannot run the green Freya. So, I mean, it is what it is. It should still be doable. Like, maybe we lose to some Eskinor teams, of course, but I still think we're gonna have some fun. So, I do have 200k CC, which is honestly quite good. So, if I'm facing people like with, like, lower CC than me, uh, then, of course, I'd, like, instantly assume that they do have dodge food. So, what I'm gonna do here is, should I just go for, like, a kill on Esterosa? I think I might actually do that. Like, this might actually kill the Esterosa, and then we just do some extra chip damage on the Demon King himself. So... Yeah, that did kill. Okay, good. And now we do some cheap damage on the Demon King. So, he does have the Tarmil Grace, of course. And he can heal back to full, but that is totally fine. If I can use, like, three attacks that each hit, like, damage cap on the Demon King, then I can kill him even with Tarmil Grace and if his HP is full. So, I am not worried there. But he is gonna use the Melascula here to put up a shield, thinking that he might actually survive this. But I don't think he will. I can quite easily break the shield here, and I'm probably gonna deal quite a lot of damage with this card specifically. So I'm going to use this card, then I'm going to use the Freya card, and then the tier single target card, and that should kill the Demon King, potentially. Unless this shield is super, super beefy. No, it wasn't. So as you can see, he's not healing back too much there, even with the Liz there, increasing his HP-related stats. So, yeah, unfortunately, but good game, dude. Hopefully we can face off against a large variety of teams. All right, another tier team with Ghislaine. That is interesting. And he does get to go first. So, I mean, this could potentially be good for me because I will be able to deal some more damage. Uh, my Freya was the one with the highest CC, so she is targeted by Ghislaine. But I do wonder. So he's going to test for dodge food there, and it's probably not going to deal a lot of damage to me. All right, so that is totally fine, I suppose. But what I can do here... Actually, he doesn't have... I think I'm just going to do this, and then I might just go for the Ghislaine. Does his Ghislaine have have she does not okay so what i think i'll do is I'll, I'll do one free attack she will deal like lower damage right and then i'll do like a tier attack so of course the yen she like removes buffs and stuff so i'm not too worried about that all right now tier needs to pop off here oh unfortunate <laughs> man uh, next turn i can at least kill her he might kill my freya i mean i could have gone for the freya ult but then again if he just pushes like three attacks on my freya uh, i mean that's it's gonna be over at that point so we just have to see here what sort of play he makes and yeah so he is going for like two attacks with uh, with his Ghislaine. totally understandable he's probably gonna deal quite a lot of damage i hope he doesn't kill the freya with the second Ghislaine attack but i probably will Oh, he didn't. That's good. That's very good for me. Okay, so that means... I mean, that, that could potentially be bad because he went for, like, single target attacks. But what I will do is I'll probably push my tier ult at this point and just kill his Ghislaine. So will this attack be enough to kill the Ghislaine after I deal some chip damage with Yam? That is my question. So, because I don't want to deal AoE damage to his tier so his tier doesn't deal too much damage to me, you know, so... Hopefully... All right, that's good. Now we do have my tier ult, so he will have to go for my tier, but unfortunately for me, I do have Tarmil Grace on my tier. He does appear to have a silver card, but that might... Yeah, that's probably not a tier card, right? He's going for a stun. Okay. Uh, is this the attack disable card, or is this the attack disable card? I hope that this is the one attack disable card, so I can attack disable him. Uh... So I can take more than like 50% of my max HP, which is good. So I'll try to like, is this a attack disable? Please him, tell me it is. No, it's not. It's alt gauge filling card. Ah, oh, man. Right, I'll, I'll waste this card. Probably shouldn't. Ah, oh, man. <laughs> so it's probably gonna go for the kill on my tier, which is unfortunate. But we do have our DN ult as well. He might actually kill all my units. Um, Man, yeah, I should have saved the other card, because I did actually use the other card uh, as, like, a single target attack card. Yeah, I really need to, like, remember what the end does, so we'll see here. He's gonna go for two attacks on tier. Will that be enough to kill? It actually won't. I do believe I have just over 50% of my HP. Yeah, oh, man. That's, that's very lucky for me. So, very good game, dude. You would have absolutely won that one. 
All right, a LR Eskinor team, 180 KCC, so dodge food 100%. But what I can do without even damaging the Twigo here is I can just do this. I can attack with the end. That is still gonna like remove the bus even if it does have dodge food. And then I can do just start like chipping down the Eskinor. I'll do like one AOE attack and then I'll do this attack. So we'll just see exactly how much damage he can deal to me. Is this a bot? I mean, I could have potentially killed the Twigo. Ooh, that is very, very close. <laughs> but man. All right, so I can get my gear ult. I can do like two AOE attacks potentially, or just merge it and get his ult and do one AOE attack, one single target attack. Or I can just go with three AOE attacks that could potentially just wipe them. So we will just see what I do here. I kind of want his R for two die. Uh... Or his Eskinor, I suppose. So we'll just do the AoE attacks. I think that might deal enough damage there. So the one tier attack. And Andrea should be hitting a little bit harder here because she did take some damage. Oh yeah. And then it's just Arthur left. Okay. Oh, it was a player actually. Well, good game, dude. But this team, as you can see, is very, very strong. Like, it doesn't matter sort of what units you go for. It's still gonna be a super strong team. So here we'll just see. So he's gonna, like, probably shield up and then taunt up with Testarossa. And, I mean, that is totally fine. And, yeah, he's probably not gonna try to do too much here anyway. But what I will do is I'm probably gonna do some some AoE attacks and the senior target attack with Freya and then maybe even an AoE attack with Freya. So what I might do is that, then that, that should kill the Esterosa and then that. So like his counter isn't gonna do anything to us but that of course killed, very good. And then we're gonna deal some more chip damage to his units and as you saw from like the first match, uh, we can potentially quite easily kill the Demon King here. Now he will only be able to attack us twice, and I don't think he can actually kill us. So yeah, we got strong enough attacks like this attack, this attack, this attack. can easily kill him, so I am not too worried. But he is gonna go for a kill, which is unfortunate. He should have infected me first, and potentially he would have been able to kill me. Because uh, like, yeah, you do 50% damage with the infect, and then you do the single target attack. Yeah, well, good game, dude. All right, another tier team. But I think that Diane actually enables this team. Like, it makes this team what it is. Unfortunately, we'd like we don't have green Freya here. That would have been a lot better because that would have made it so that the enemies actually focus one of my units. I could potentially put Ghislaine there and have, like, the same effect. But the Diane, she makes it so that we can take more than 50% of our HP. And that is huge. That is absolutely enormous. So here, I think I'm just gonna go for the kill on tier. I think I can actually kill him. Uh, if I deal enough damage a couple of times. Or potentially, I, like, attack with Diane and and then like kill his DN with two attacks. Uh, that might actually work better for us. I don't think he does have dodge food, right? He might have. Uh, but what I'm gonna do is then I'm just gonna do two attacks like this and a single target attack. No dodge food. Please let this also kill. Ooh, the Freya man. But then this should kill. All right, good. But yeah, like Diane prevents us from taking more than 50% of our HP, which is super, super huge. I do have also like Tarmil Grace on my tier and tier, of course, taunts up turn one, which is, I mean, that's just so good. So like you can't beat that. But he will just try to kill me here. I don't think he'll be able to kill my tier at least. And then after that, I can quite easily like get a gold card and at least get a nice screenshot, right? So please let me do that. I'll kill your, oh no, oh my God. But anyway, let me know what teams you guys are using down in the comments. Like, are you using the LR Eskinor team or using the, you know, unknown team or using the tier team or using the demon team? Whatever it is. And also, it's like, let me know how well you're doing with that team. And uh, he probably has dodge food here, right? So I just go by the assumption that he does have dodge food. But uh, what I will do is I'm still gonna, like, try to deal as much damage as I possibly can. I'll potentially even kill his, his unit. Oh my god. Oh, he does have the Tarmil Grace on him as well. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> I did not expect that, honestly. But this is probably a bot in that case. Like, he's not running dodge food, and I was able to out CC him. Unless, of course, it's, I, uh, it shouldn't be. I'm top 1% at the moment with this team, so I should only be facing, like, well, other people who are close to top 1%, right? Isn't that how it is? But it's still, like, early days, so yeah, this is probably a bot, unfortunately, but sometimes. You do face a bot. But then anyway, like, let me know what teams you guys are using. I'm always interested in that stuff. So let's just do this, this, and that. And that should easily wipe. And we'll move on to the next. 
All right, an LR Eskinor team with Reinhardt. Now, I actually did try this team out earlier, uh, or at least yesterday, I mean, and it actually worked out surprisingly well, because it did face off against one person actually using the Reinhardt here instead. And it's actually really good. Like, if you can get Reinhardt's ultimate, that's going to be super, super nice for you. So I will do that. I will do that. Um, that on the Eskinor. No dodge food. Is this another bot? I think this will kill. Yeah. If she can crit, she will kill. But <laughs> if she misses a crit, there's no way. Ooh, Twigo. Now he just turned into a Reinhardt team. I mean, it's still not over. He does have the dodge thing. He can get immortality. Reinhardt is such a, you know, a coin toss that it's... Uh... Yeah, it's, it's pretty much a coin flip if, like, you will do well with him or, like, you will get completely clapped by him or whatever. But what I will do is I'm just gonna get my tier ult in that case. So we will just go for the tier ult. I'm not gonna, like, do any other movements or anything. And then I'll just wipe them. But yeah, like, if this is a bot, then, of course, uh, that is probably my best bet here. If it's not a bot, then, of course, it is what it is. I don't know why no one would, like, run dodge food and still get out CC'd by someone who does run dodge food. At least not on top 1%. Nah, this is a bot, 100%. Here we go, I increase my stats. Let's see the ultimate damage. Yeah. Good screenshot, actually. All right, another tier team. So this is a mirror match, 205k CC. Is he running dodge food, though? That is the question. He could potentially just have all his units, like, maxed out, have, like, really high box CC, and that could explain, like, the disparity between my units and his units. I don't have all my cosmetics maxed out. Like, I don't have the SR cosmetics maxed out or anything like that, so... We actually got double AoE. He's gonna use triple AoEs. That is crazy. My Dian actually died. Oh wow, okay. So I will just go for his tier. And the way I'll do that is this, this, and this. Actually this, because I don't think she will heal back as much as tier will. There's 50% damage. His Dian died, very good. And now there's no damage cap. I should be able to kill here. Okay, good. I actually didn't consider, like, looking if this was a bot or not. Every single match yesterday was a player. And this is day two, of course. Uh, you guys will be seeing this on day three. Uh, but every single match I played yesterday was against a player. And today I seem to be facing bots. So it's sort of normalized a little bit at least now. So that is unfortunate. I would have loved to, like, only face off against players. But I think this is also a bot. And I think I'll just end it there because... You know what, wading through a sea of bots isn't like the most fun thing ever anyway, so we will just end it right here. But yeah, the tier team, very, very good. As you've seen, I can basically like beat anyone like going second. So I think this might actually be one of the best teams because of course, like you can't run Roxy on the Eskinor team. So the Eskinor team might not even be the best. The demon team doesn't appear to be anywhere near as good as this team. And then yeah, you got, you got this team. Like this is the top 1% team. It's gonna make, take you all the way up to top 1%. As you can see, like, I started this video at like top 1.1% and after just a couple of matches I'm at top 0.42% very very good team very easy and yeah just use this team to get like the top 1% and get the 100 gems and yeah but with that I think that's gonna be it for me hope you liked the video thanks for watching hope you have a most wonderful rest of your day and yeah I guess I'll catch you in the next one bye